Why don't more people support your party, do you think? Well, they do. I think we're about to find that out in the next um, election in about 14 days' time. I just if I may but, come but, back but, to just, one sorry, point. Just on that point, I mean, yeah. uh, we don't see any particular momentum towards the BNP. Most people in this country now know that your main immigration policy is to stop all immigration full mm -hmm. stop. And the public mood in the last week would suggest that there's a momentum towards the Liberal Democrats, a party who you would presumably say are soft on immigration. It's very difficult. I mean, we can take on the political parties, but when we take on most of the media, the church, the trades unions, the various church? leftist groups... Then, How uh, dare you speak for the church? You see what I mean? It's, it's How difficult. dare you speak for the church? It's difficult. Yes, sir. Introduce yourself, sir. I'm Peter Adams. I live in Luton. I work with the churches and Calm all the faith down. communities Calm of this down. town. I fundamentally reject the arrogant, disruptive Don't presence that down. the BNP has been in this town yeah. in the last year. Yeah. You, you and people like you the have stirred up this community. Don't shoot the you messenger. have taken the... the the sense of displacement that so many in this town feel, legitimately white people, indigenous English as you call them, and yet you have stirred them up, you and those like you, to an anger that has disrupted You're the our angry town. One. <laughs> Not me. You call yourself indigenous English. I am indigenous English. You call yourself well, the BNP claims to speak for the church. It oh, no, does no. not. Okay, all right, all right. It does okay. not. The, point I was let, the church let's... wants to bring peace and harmony okay. in this town right. and this nation. Are you going to let me respond to that outburst? I mean, the, we, we're told this election is wide open. Mm. I mean, it really is. So why do you think you aren't doing better? Well, I think if you uh, wait for 14 days' time, when we've got elections embarking, obviously, and in Stoke on Trent and various other... Uh, places, I think you'll be very, very surprised at the kind of vote we achieve. So but what, as I was what, trying what represents success for you in this election? I, think, I think I can honestly say this is the first election that I've known when we're actually in with a chance of winning at a general <laughs> election. How many? How many seats? I don't know. I don't know. Um, there's, there's a long way to go. We've seen this artificial puffing up of uh, Nick Clegg. I mean, uh, what, okay. what more are we to see in the next couple of weeks?